What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. The latest weekly Bungie update has just been dropped and we're going to go through the lot today. But before we go any further people, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help me and my channel out. And if you do want to support the channel, although not necessary, you can by clicking the sponsor link at the top of that video description and sponsoring me, which would be absolutely amazing. Okay, so this week at Bungie, the 15th of February 2018. Teen. This week at Bungie, we invited you to celebrate Crimson Days with us. The decorations are up, the rewards are flowing, and teams of two are waging battle in the Crucible. You can get the full details on the event here. The celebration continues until the weekly reset at 9am PST on February 20th, which is next Tuesday. When one celebration ends, another one begins. Rally caps. Faction Rally People is coming next week. Uh, the event kicks off at 9am PST on February 20th. This time you can knock out Lost Sectors as fast as you can kill the bosses. With no timers to hold, you back. Start thinking about which faction deserves your loyalty. New Monarchy has won the last two rallies. Can they repeat? If this is your first faction rallies, here is what you need to know. First, visit the tower and pledge your loyalty to one of the factions. Then it's time to set up into the world to complete various activities. Once you've earned enough tokens to qualify for a reward, exchange them for packages full of loot. There will be some new weapons added to the packages for this event. Here is what we are adding to the reward pool. And we can see the weapons on screen now. That looks like a Dead Orbit Linear Fusion and an Auto Rifle. It looks like a Future War Cult Hand Cannon and Auto Rifle, which is Auto Rifle I actually can't wait to get my hands on. And it looks like a New Monarchy Auto Rifle and Scout Rifle. That's not all is at stake. At the end of the event, the faction with the most packages redeemed will offer their prized weapon as a reward. Those who were loyal to the winner get a big discount and can pick it up for 1000 Glimmer. Everyone else can still get it at 50,000 Glimmer. Here is what the factions have to offer in the event they are victorious. The new monarchy pulse rifle, the dead orbit pulse rifle or the future war cult scatter rifle. To be honest, all three of these weapons could be quite good. But I know what faction I am choosing people, I am choosing Dead Orbit this time because I need to get them ornaments on my Hunter and I will be live streaming that people as well so yes, stay tuned for my Destiny 2 live streams. Three factions face off again, their fates directly tied to your choices. Will Future World Cup finally win the day? I doubt it. Okay, so we're going to move on from faction rallies. Fine tuning. A few weeks ago, Josh Hamrick stopped by to give us an update on Sandbox changes. He mentioned that his visit was the first of many from the Sandbox team and that this meal will span many courses. It's time for the next course. Senior designer John is visiting us from the kitchen with an update on the exotic tuning pass our team is working on diligently to make exotics more exotic -er. John, hello players, I'm here to talk to you about the work going into the exotic tuning pass on the D2 roadmap. When Destiny first launched, we built, playtested and shipped a batch of exotic weapons that we hoped would be worthy of your time and hype. Shortly after release, we were happily inundated with a mountain of player feedback. This allowed us to check our assumptions, do some tuning and push out one of the first Destiny sandbox updates which were solely focused on exotic weapons. We're doing this again with Destiny 2 and this time we're including exotic weapons and armor. Gameplay goals for the pass. Tuning pass on exotic gear focused on adding and or increasing player power spikes. Focus on low usage items but all items are being considered. Lean into an item's established gameplay and push it harder. Avoid catch all improvements that dilute item identity. So how does this play out? We can look at Graviton Lance as an example. The functional concept is a weapon that fires two cosmic void rounds that create a zero air resistance tunnel for a high caliber precision shot to fire through. The first two rounds have almost no recoil and prime the air and the third round does high damage with no fall off. A kill knocks the body back with considerable force, it tumbles and then explodes. Resounding player feedback has been along the lines of looks great, sounds great, neat explosion, I can't get kills in PvP because all the damage is at the end of the burst. Kicks too hard for the follow up. 
and I can't reliably damage targets with the death explosion in any activity because the body goes flying far too backwards. All spectacle, not enough utility. To target the first pain point we reduced the recoil of the burst, added some aim assist and changed it from 3 rounds to 2. This still plays into the fantasy of a low damage graviton neutralizing round forming a projectile tunnel for the last bullet, it also allows us to ensure the damage per burst is at a competitive level for PvP engagements. In fact, it gives Graviton a slight mathematical edge against other pulse rifles. On the second feedback item, we did some tuning to the ragdoll body. We made it so rather than violently flying backwards and lightly out of range of a potential splash damage opportunity, the defeated opponent floats back and up. We then made the explosion bigger increased the damage and added some void fueled projectiles that seek out any remaining targets. <laughs> that sounds beastly. This is one of the more exaggerated examples to help describe how we're looking at our goals and applying them to the gear. At the time of this writing, the weapons that are not getting an update are Merciless, Telesto, Warcliffe Coil, Mila Mortar Tool, Colony, Legend of Acrius, and the Vigilance Wing. Some of the above perform well without needing changes, while others like the Vigilance Wing Pulse Rifle are already benefiting from the tuning changes planned for update 1.1.4. Everything else has had some degree of power or utility increase, whether it's simply bumping a stat or some deeper plumbing as described above. We'll be touching a lot of the powerful gear with this update and to truly understand their impact for players requires a lot of design, iteration and test time. It isn't enough to crank up the damage and run one strike or crucible match with a gun and helmet and move on. Dialing in the right amount of power, testing in all activities with all types of loadouts, finding the bugs, fixing the bugs, updating the perk description text to reflect new behaviour and then handing that off to localization and translation. It's a ton of work but we're up to it. We sincerely appreciate your patience, I believe it will be worth the wait. We'll be back soon to talk about exotic masterworks as well. Until then, continue being excellent to each other. And people, that is it for this week's update. I mean, there's a few other bits and bobs about Crimson Days, and if you do want to read about that, I will link the whole update within the video description if you do want to check it out. The main point for me here, though, is next week we get faction rallies. Finally gives me the chance to get my full faction ornaments, uh, obviously on my Hunter. I've done Future Walker, I've done New Monarchy. All i got to do now is Dead Orbit. And some of the weapons do look great too, so I can't wait to get my hands on a couple of them. But me, I'm definitely going to be picking Dead Orb this time around. Who are you going to be picking? Let me know down below. The changes on the exotic seem interesting, but until we know more and what other changes are being brought to other exotic weapons and armors, which in my opinion absolutely suck balls, I mean I'm optimistic, but I ain't going to get hyped until I know what they're doing. But yes guys, not a massive weekly update this week. But hey, it is what it is. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully people, I will see you on my next video or next stream.